Okay, so first you need to select your iPod software. Now I've got it sequel. Maybe you want to download it at the bottom. And I need to let it process for a minute. Now you need to select whether or not your iPod is MC model. You can find that under the About section, under your serial code. Now you click Next. It's going to process and do a bunch of things that I don't really understand for a minute. Okay, next you want to select whether or not you want to install Cydia, which is the main jailbreak. Verbose boot is not really important, but this is a custom boot logo that you can have to s when you start up your iPod, and a custom recovery logo when you enter recovery. Now I'm going to select already owned because I've already jailbroken my iPod. And these two because I've already got these set up. Now you follow these steps, and I'm doing as they're saying on the screen. Now that I've entered into recovery mode, it's going to begin the jailbreak. It will come up on your iPod screen with downloading jailbreak data and the picture of a hard drive. So you need to just leave it alone for a minute or two, and it will install the jailbreak. Again, I will have links to download all of the things you will need at the below the video. Now this process takes a lot longer if you're using the custom boot logos and custom recovery logo but I find that they really add an interesting touch to your iPod. But if, you just, if you're just using plain Cydia jailbreak, then it takes a while. And now you can close this window by clicking finish, but leave your iPod connected and it will finish the rest of the jailbreak locally on the iPod.